Welcome to Rusty Gaines. I am Mr. Gaines, and today we're going to do a tutorial on the uh, electric furnaces, how to set them up to auto shut or turn on and turn off. And now these items are on the tier three or tier two, so the furnaces, and you're going to need a memory cell, are on the tier two uh, workbench. So you're going to need that. Now you do need the two conveyors, one for the the input to draw in ore, and then you need your output to draw the ore, the cooked ore out, just the same as the uh, the other furnaces. Now we're going to take the power on the branch side and run that to the first conveyor, and then we're going to bypass to the second conveyor. And now the remaining power, the power out, we're going to take that, and technically you only need 15 rust watts because the memory cell and the splitter no longer require one power. So you run that to there and then the bottom of the memory cell, and each furnace takes five rust watts in order to run. Now we're going to take the filter pass on the first conveyor and we're going to run that to the memory cell to set. So that's going to basically, when something passes through that conveyor, it will tell the furnaces to turn on. Now we're going to take the fail filter on the second conveyor and put that on reset. And what that's going to do is when there's no longer ore being pulled through the second conveyor, it's going to shut the furnaces off. Now we're going to take the output, not the inverted output, and we're going to run that to the furnaces, or a furnace, but I have three, so we're going to run it through a splitter, where the splitter, again, no longer takes one rust watt, so you don't need to worry about adding an extra rust watt for the splitter. Now we're going to run the splitter one to each of the furnaces. And you're going to want to hook that up to power in. And I just hooked that up to the wrong one. So we're going to connect it to power on, or power in. Now the furnace has power in, power on, and power off. We, we are not connecting to the, the on and off. I don't even know why those are there, to be honest. I guess if you have a single furnace, then it's useful, but it's really not. So in your first conveyor, you need to set the ore that you want to be drawn into the furnaces. So, of course, your high-quality ore, your sulfur ore and your metal ore and then on the second conveyor you want your cooked products the products that are going to be cooked in the furnaces you need that conveyor to draw them out of the furnaces now we need to pipe it And we basically do the same thing as we did on the other furnaces. You just put the conveyor in on the first one and then daisy chain them together. And then the last one will go to the conveyor out, the conveyor that draws all of the cooked product out. And the second conveyor will hook back up to your drop box. The first conveyor will hook directly to your uh, your ore box. So on your auto sorting system, that's how you would have it set up. Now, because of uh, the force wipe, I had to rebuild the tutorial uh, base, so I don't have the whole thing set up, the sorting system and all that. Here's where I realize I hooked up to the wrong one. I hooked it up to power on or turn on. Alright, so let's throw some ore in here 
and it should kick on automatically once that first conveyor starts drawing the, the product in and then when this one starts drawing it out then it'll send a signal to fail and then it'll turn it off now as you see there was one uh, high quality metal still in the system and that's because it takes a little bit longer for it to, to cook or process and so it may on occasion leave like one uncooked or in the system there's no way around that and another thing is let's say your drop box is full let's say your drop box is full well the and you're out of ore the furnaces will not turn off so that's one thing to watch out for but if you have it hooked up to an auto sorting system and you have like two boxes for your cooked ore you probably should not have to worry about that ever but anyway this is a, an easy simple way to do this um, I appreciate you watching my video I know this is a short one but we are going to get back on schedule soon. I had to work on my, my wife's car. Her alternator uh, went out. So I had to work on that. And if you didn't already know, I do have another uh, YouTube channel. It's called Mr. JDM. JDM. And it is uh, automotive tutorials on uh, like Hondas exclusively, basically. Um, but any import cars, I guess Japanese cars, really. So, if you're interested, you can jump over there and watch my Honda automotive tutorial videos. But again, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate the you subscribers. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.